Right about now, the entire country is on the brink as every Democrat and every Republican lives in terror at the prospect of the other guy pulling out a victory and gaining access to the halls of power, the White House. Oh, it's a mess out there, as tens of millions on both sides have effectively brainwashed themselves into the utter demonization of the other guy, rightly or wrongly. And what's supposed to happen tomorrow night? Isn't everything supposed to get resolved when your party wins the election? I hardly think so. We Americans have painted ourselves into a psycho-political corner, and I am deeply concerned that the damage done in this brutal campaign has only started to be felt, and I am very worried about the psychological well-being of at least half the country that must live in a society led by the devil incarnate, the other guy, and that's as true for Republicans as it is for Democrats. How naive we are to think that the opposing party, whoever that is for each of us, is of no concern as long as my candidate wins. We have been operating with an obsession called my candidate wins or we are ruined as a country and it is time to step back from the brink of that sorry way of seeing the election of 2016. Regardless of who wins, we must be a people united. We must continue to express our grievances against aspects of our country that need speaking up about. This is our right and our duty in America. Right here and now, we must let go of not wanting the opposition to win and let go of wanting our paragon politician to win, be she Hillary or Donald Trump. We cannot be torn apart anymore. The healing, the unification of America starts here and it starts now. I'm W.J. O'Reilly. Let's embrace all who are part of our American family. Let's turn the poison of this election into the medicine that heals us. Thank you.